Hello, it's Dar with Helion. I'm going to show you how to archive your email. It might be Gmail, it might be another corporate email system, but maybe you want to make a copy of your email and make sure you don't lose it or it doesn't get lost in the cloud. So I'm going to log in with one of uh, my uh, email addresses that I hardly use. Uh, and we're going to back this up as an example. So I find the best tool to do use this is Outlook. And in this case, I'm using Microsoft Outlook 2013. So from the Home tab, we're going to go down to New Items. From New Items, we're going to go down to More Items. And we're going to create the file that we're going to back up our email to. Now, that's an Outlook data file. So we find that down here. Uh, it's going to open up a, a folder, in this case documents and Outlook files. You're going to want to make sure uh, you know where this folder is in your case. Make sure it goes to someplace uh, useful. It might be your desktop, it might be a thumb drive. And so now what we're going to do is my Helia uh, email backup. And make sure you know what the file name is as well. Now when I click OK, it's going to add a folder down here. So you can see now I've got another set of folders here with delete items and search items. So we're going to go in here and we're going to create the folders that we're going to, uh, going to be backing up. So I right clicked. Now I'm going to go down and select new folder. Uh, my first new folder is inbox. And then I'm also going to uh, create a folder for uh, sent items. So again, I right clicked down the new folder, sent items. And, uh, and now what I need to do is drag all of my email from my online folder into my offline archive folder here. So I'm going to open up my inbox. I'm going to press Control A, and that's going to select all of my email in my inbox. And so uh, that's a shortcut that works in almost all Windows programs. So Control A selects all email. Now I'm going to use my right mouse button and drag this down to my inbox here. So we're going to drag it down. Now there's two choices, move or copy. We're going to do copy. If we do move, of course, it's going to delete it from my online folder. And usually that's not what we want to do if we're just making a backup. So I'm going to hit copy. And now if I go down to this inbox, you can see that I have got my folders here. Now the other one is the sent items. So I look at my sent items, nothing here right now on here. I actually have, well, let's see what we have. So there's nothing here as well. So th if there was, I would select all the items here. I would again use my right mouse button to drag them down the sent items and click copy and then it would copy the folders here. Now once this is done, I can go in and click on this, choose close my uh, E uh, Helia email backup. So I'm going to click that. It's going to disappear. And then what do I need to do is I need to open up a new folder and uh, and go to that place where those files were. In my case, it's in documents under, uh, I believe, Outlook backup. Outlook files. Okay. So here is my computer here, and I've got my Helia backup PST file. So this is the file now that we want to save on a thumb drive or put somewhere else, and it contains all of the email that you've backed up. Now to reuse this folder or this file that we have here, uh, what you would do is you go back to New Items, More Items, Outlook Data File, and we are going to select uh, the data file that we want to include. So we're going to do this one here. And lo and behold, this has come back. And I can select here. And here's my email that I've taken offline. This is Dar with Helios. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, visit us online at www.it-support-calgary.ca. Bye for now.